an interesting because we're like that's an five interesting, different things. That's like an interesting pirate name, Rainbow Beard. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to Luigi's Mansion. About it's to, because we're freaking Irish, Scottish, clans of Viking, German, Native American. We're about to fight the baby. Why can't you just shine him in the heart while he's sleeping? I never understood that. They, they had to make it hard, didn't they? Well, they had to make him the boss. When I did this, I thought he was. This is how. Where is it? Excuse me. He thought this was just the boss part? Yeah, I thought it was. Because that the other boss battles don't take. Oh, yeah, they do. Never mind. And actually, when I first played this, I thought we were teleported to a different dimension. But he actually shrinks me, and then I didn't know that until I actually. Oh! Uh, I didn't know that either. Wow. I think I don't think you were paying attention when I played this on our last Let's Play. No, I don't think I was. Yeah, he shrinks you down. And I didn't realize that until I played it that time. Like when we did the first time we did the Let's Play for this. And I was like, holy crap, he actually shrinks you down. And I didn't know that. And I just realized that. I always thought he teleported me to a different dimension. And I never got the winking thing. Why did he wink? Why I don't know. Uh, this this is like this is like um freaking I don't know like Luigi level creepiness. Dang it! He switches his his like movements and it's that Luigi level creepiness. That's what it is. <laughs> that was the easiest move to dodge. That nearly hit you. I know. I wish you could, like, make those hit him. No, they think you'd think that they'd switch it up to where he moves diagonally, yeah. so he can hit the middle. Yeah, because then it would make you think a little bit more. Yeah, it doesn't. That's what uh, the bosses are a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. The only boss that's hard is the boo thing, the giant boo, because you have to freeze them, and after a while they don't. Um, uh, they run away from you. Yeah. Or it's not hard. It's just that it's incredibly tedious and long. Like the freaking boss I was facing. Look at that freaking um, Final Fantasy. Yeah, Except mine was hard. It was hard, tedious, and. Really? Three? You're gonna let go of him at three, you. You know that baby's your boo. Oh, he switches. Yeah, but he never hits the middle, see? Yeah. And then right here, watch. You just stand in the middle and they don't even hit you. I swear, if you let go of him at this, you're He's at zero. Let's go. And I'd be like... Goes back to full health. <laughs> that would so... Not really make me cry or anything because it's not really that's a hard, it's that hard of a boss. It would just make it more annoying. You'd just be like, oh. See, there's what he was. If you look closely, you can tell it's really just a photograph. You don't say. What else would it be? I don't know, Luigi. <coughs> yeah. Why do they use pink? Just like Luigi's pants. <laughs> Why do they use pink for a room that was for a boy? Oh, maybe, maybe it is a girl. Or maybe they thought it was a boy, and then they gave him all this girl stuff, and then mm, he killed himself. 
A baby can't kill himself. I don't know. He's he pretty. Know that. Well, he's smart enough to know to attack and stuff and fight back as a ghost. So, unless he's just playing games still, I don't know. I don't care. Hold on, hold on. I wonder if you. I wanted the. You didn't look last time, but look at the way you watch. Watch his. Watch, look at his face. Yeah, I know. He's just like. And then look how he runs or walks or whatever. Does that ninja run when you run, run down the school uh, school hallway? What was that joke that it said? It said there was always that one kid that ran to lunch like in like this. Like you know, Naruto. It was, a, it Naruto. was a Naruto fan character. Running Run down a ninja. Yeah. Naruto. <laughs> My friend told me that was me. But I never really ran like that, but I did play Naruto at lunch with my friends. I was Neji. You played Naruto at lunch? How do you do that? Like, we... You've never, like, played Star Wars or anything? Like, you guys acted like you were the characters? No. What did you do? <laughs> at lunch? At recess. Like, recess. That's oh, recess. You don't have recess anymore. You don't have recess, do you? That was back oh. in elementary school, oh. Grant. No, um, in recess? No, I just, uh... I actually just was on the swings a lot. I love the swings. I don't I know. kicked the kid on the swings. That's really something you want to tell everybody. Hey, he walked in the way, so I kicked him. Okay. I was swinging there. He deserved it. Anyway, um... I ripped his nipple. There was... <laughs> you just had to, like, drop that bomb, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, what there it was pretty painful. No, what there was is there's this one kid that <laughs> will never bother me again. Yeah. I was never able to ever get one of those gold ones. Ever. They're extremely easy. Like I can flash them, but I can never like grab them. Those ones were so annoying. I hated them. Yeah, but they aren't that big of a threat unless they threw bombs. Um, no, like there's this one kid that I had in in high school. He was an extre extreme anime fan. He was black. Wow. And he would. Uh, you know, you realize a lot of people say black people don't watch anime a lot, but the most black people watch anime. Like a lot of my friends that watch anime are black. Well, anyway, you know what he did is he actually did the Naruto run sometimes. Uh -huh down the hallway. <laughs> he also had like a Naruto headband he'd wear to school sometimes. He was a bit of a weirdo. I want a Naruto headband. He also sometimes... I like, the, I like, like when the he Leaf when, Village one with the slash through it. Oh yeah, like the Akatsuki? The Rogue Ninja. Yeah. Um, when um, when Naruto... Or when Naruto... When he would go... Freaking serious? When um, he would... Uh, Fight sometimes you do like Dragon Ball Z fighting stuff. When he fought someone, like for real, fought. Yeah, like sometimes, like he didn't do like you know what I mean, like flying and stuff. But he would just like try to do the punches like it. He was a little weird. When he got into a fight with someone. Sometimes, yeah. And did he actually win? Um, I didn't pay attention to it. I was like, this is. I'm gonna go now. Plus, I know I'm a witness, and if anybody who's there witnessing it, we'd get in trouble. And I'm not a snitch, so... That's why I always avoided that type of thing. Come on, take his mask. Um, uh, what was the other thing? He really loved Inuyasha, though. Back when that was a thing, I guess. I hate when I start a heart like that. Why are you collecting the hearts? More hearts for Luigi. It means he lives longer. Luigi stealing hearts. Like, I think I, I remember seeing a fan animation after, I think it was either Simon Belmont or it was either Luigi from the Luigi's Mansion. Either one, because you collect hearts in both games. Yeah. For different reasons, obviously. 
But um, it was either, at the end, it was either Luigi or Simon Belmont. And they had, after collecting all the hearts, they were sitting there with, like, all fat and about to die because they had, like, 20 hearts inside them. It was very disgusting. But it would also, like, what if you put... I like how they count as one person with one heart. Yeah. It would make it more challenging if it was two, though. Yeah. Oh, no. Nope. You just stay in the corners and you're good. I was talking about the eyes, but okay. What about the Hey, eyes? what the frick? I never even noticed that picture before. That's because it's behind you. Yeah, I never even bothered to look at that. Frick. Cool. But this, this one. Yeah, I've seen that one before. Wait, hold on. Your first gold bar. I never checked these before, actually. I always do. I never checked a lot of places in this because I just wanted to beat the game. You never really check anything in games. Shut up. Yes, I do. To be honest, like, you're not thorough about it. I do it in, I did it in Earthbound. That's Earthbound. Which I beat. You cannot deny that I didn't beat it. No, didn't beat it. Yeah, I did. No. You, you saw me beat it. Well, I don't know what you mean. Oh, I hate those ones. Those actually take your hearts. If they're not white, they don't take. They don't take. They take your hearts. White ones don't take your hearts. But it, it, multicolored ones will take your hearts. I'm trying to get something going here. If you can't tell. I'm saying that anybody that anything that's not white doesn't take your heart. Or anything that's not white does take your heart. All right. Oh, it's just a freaking heart. Though sometimes they give you a different um, items. Like, like one time they'll give you a heart, you go back and it'll give you some coins. I don't know. What time? 13. What time is it? Oh, 8.18. Mm. We'll probably get like two episodes. The boos were the least scariest thing in this game. Do you even have to do this to beat the game? To get all the boos? Yeah, you do. Oh yeah, because you got all the out. Which I don't understand, because a lot of people are saying that it was King Boo that tricked Luigi into coming here and it trapped Mario. But he was trapped in there. Maybe he just wanted you to think he was. I don't know. I don't understand. There's a lot of plot holes in this freaking game. I don't say it was Bowser, but then Bowser got taken over by the kid, 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 King Boo was inside freaking Bowser. A lot of people, but it says Bowser died. Like when you talk to the freaking fortune teller, probably spoiling it here, but I don't think anybody has not played this game, whether it be the actual game for the GameCube or a ROM. The fortune teller tells you that Bowser was defeated many years be years before this happened, which was Super Mario 64, and from what you recall, he explodes. So, this actually does follow a story, but, which most Mario games don't follow any story, it's just like South Park. When Kenny dies at the end, he appears in the next episode, that's pretty much what Mario is. Bowser dies, he's there again. This game actually is the only one that doesn't, that does follow that. Same thing with uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Bowser's dead again in the new one, but he returns again. And uh, so does King Boo. He gets released again.
freaking hair. My turn. No, don't do that. There was a uh, a meme where they just had Luigi. That I don't know if I showed you the video, where they just showed like these different online mul the online multiplayer of Luigi's Mansion. Did I show you that? Mm -hmm. It's where they basically. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Where they show Luigi humping a bunch of things and going Mario, and then they all suck each other into a vacuum cleaner. Anyway, that ends it for there.